Welcome to another episode of Queer Blood Diaries! And for today's video, we will be going to the one of the best countries of the world, and that is the Philippines! Yeah, you know, I'm so excited too. Yeah. So the video will begin in three, two, two one. one. We'll be sharing to you what we have learned on how the Filipinos prepare whenever calamities strike in their country. Yes, and like we're wearing our uniforms right now because like this is our last day in school. Like, oh my god, I'm so excited for our flight. So stay tuned and we will share with you everything. Good afternoon, everyone. Today is Wednesday, August 1, 2018. There has been a great mass effect that is happening in our country in southwestern Luzon, where it brought small rains in Luzon and Visayas. This is the cause of Typhoon Maria, which is still found outside in the Philippine area of responsibility. As of 3 p.m., it was found 1,625 kilometers in east of Luzon. So now that we know that there is typhoon coming in the Philippines, I have come across with three foreign bloggers who visited USGR Basa campus to observe how the Filipino students prepare when there is an upcoming calamities. Hey guys, we just landed here at Cebu Mactan International Airport and we were not informed that the Philippines could be this hot, you know. Good thing I bought my t-shirt in my hand carry bag, you know. Good for her. Yeah. She's not sweating like me and Sam, you know. Yeah, it's hot. Because their t-shirt is in their check-in luggage and then, you know, we will be going to our hotel for us to check in and then we will be now heading to the one of the most prestigious school in Cebu and that is the University, University of San Sara Coletas. So guys, before we end this video here in the airport, we will be sharing to you our itinerary once we arrive in that said school. So maybe we will be witnessing them as they prepare themselves for any calamities or disasters. And maybe we'll be joining them in their fire drills. Earthquake drills, all kinds of drills that they may do in that school. And we will be participating in their orientation that will be held for the students to know and to be aware. And also we will join some students in packing some emergency kits that are important to the daily living of a person once calamity strikes. So, so see you there. Hey guys, so like right now the weather is so okay. And, oh, so right now they're actually doing their earthquake drill. Like, I can't believe these students are actually so prepared. Hey, girls, girls, girls! Just stop, stop, and hold and walk faster! Hey, hey. Today, Nicole is nowhere to be found. Yeah, she's been gone for decades. I have no idea where she is. Oh, look, look, look. <laughs> hey, Nicole! Hey, Nicole. Hey, oh, Tucker. she's over here. What are you doing? I'm filming them. Especially, don't forget to drink water to stay hydrated. It was an exhausting day, but we have so much things to ponder. And, like, and we have learned so much more mm -hmm. than we have in our knowledge. Yeah, um, I have learned that we must know to differentiate what we need during calamities and what are our priorities in our daily emergency kit bag. And I have learned what we should not panic when there's any emergencies and we should do the duck cover and hold to protect ourselves from things such as falling objects when there's an earthquake. Yeah, and we learned that we should actually listen to the authorities as they struck us in the So guys, this is the end of our Philippine USJR vlog and see you again on our next vlog. Once again, this is the